much it really changed my perspective. I'm saving for my first house deposit now. Yeah, respect for that. Good, good, good. Used to think I couldn't buy a house because of London prices. Blood, at the end of the day, yeah, if you live in London, now obviously I'm presuming it, yeah. So because you live in London, that don't mean that you can't buy a house outside of London. Like you can still buy a house and own a house outside of London and still live in your mother's yard or your, your dad or whoever you live with, guardian, who, however old you are. People, we need to stop thinking that we're bound to the, and we're confined with, within the M25 blood. You might London prices are just nuts. Imagine the worst of the worst areas. Brixton, Tottenham, Hackney. <laughs> like, Tottenham's the cheapest out of Hackney and Brixton and Peckham and that. And like, to buy a three bed terraced house where you've got a man on your left and a man on your right, yeah? You're, you're a terraced house in okay, mediocre condition, 600 grand. So London house prices, like, you know, even flats and that, 300 grand for a flat, come on, man. It's just, it's just, it's just insane. So you know what? As Londoners, we might have to go outside. I recommend if you're not on some mad, crazy wage like some fucking banker, blood, you need to take yourself outside of London, start investing in property up there, because you can keep looking at these house prices and that. And every minute you blink, every Ross Clark minute, every every time you blink, them London house prices are going up, literally. Literally. Yeah, you say that, but blood, back in the day it went like this. I don't know, wah, wah, wah. Like London's always been obviously expensive compared to the rest of the, uh, the, the rest of the country, but it's almost as if London's just skyrocketed because the areas like Tottenham and obviously Hackney and Brixton and that Peckham, the non-desirable um, areas were all cheap. And then one day, but obviously it's partly to do with gentrification and that, where they got like the white middle class people moving in. And now obviously, next thing you know, they're shutting down Lidl's and then they're opening up away trolls and now all these coffee shops are all popping up and that. So yeah, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad. You know how many people who, are from again them deprived areas the Tottenham's the Hackney's the Brixton's the Peckham's New Cross Deptford and that they were trying to get out of those areas and they may have even had a little bit of money and they said to themselves there's no way I would buy a property in Hackney Brixton Tottenham Peckham uh, New Cross Deptford and that those people there regret it trust me because them house prices there is mad Imagine Stoke Newington, N16. Like a million pound for a terraced house. All right, the spec inside is decent, but it ain't no Buckingham Palace spec inside. When 30 years ago, no one even wanted to live in Stoke Newington. All of them areas there, Dalston, London Fields, Well Street and that, no one, what? No one wanted to live around there. Them areas there was a no-go zone. Now it's all changed. Now it's all changed. But I have to, man, man forget with the times though. Do you know what? It's just going to be a, a situation to where for you to be able to buy a property in London, you need to be like, one of them affluent people, i.e. one of them middle class people, i.e. someone who's like a banker or a lawyer. The average electrician, forget it. On my wage, yeah, let's say I was earning the maximum that an employed PAYE, an employed full-time employee electrician would earn. Let's say I was earning that and that's about 40 grand. Well, you times your wage is 40,000 by four and a half. So we're at what? 160 plus a 20, so we're at 180. Yeah, so I would be able to borrow 180 plus 10% of the property and that. Well, the property for 200 grand, let's say, for example, I had 20, 20 grand to put down on a property and I have 180 to borrow from the bank. For 200 grand, you can't even really get, you, I don't think you can even get a flat in Edmonton for 200 grand. And that's Edmonton. Edmonton, you know. 
poor man area. Forget, forget even buying a fucking flat in Tottenham for two hundred grand. I don't think they sell flats in Tottenham for two hundred grand. Yeah, maybe if there's no roof. Right. So, right. I feel they might go down in London because people are moving outside because it's cheaper. But they're predicting to go down or in UK or just just London. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Me, I don't really research the the market or nothing like that. To be fair. Do you know what? Yeah, before, like, this is way before our time, Dosa David. Like, let's say 30, 40 years ago, they used to do 125% mortgages. So let's say, for example, a house is worth 200 grand. They will lend you the 200 grand. So you don't need to put down no deposit. And they will give you one quarter, which is 25% of the property up front. So that you can renovate the property. So if a property is worth 200 grand and you take out 125% uh, mortgage on that 200 grand property, they will lend you 250. They'll give you 100%, which is 200 grand, and they will give you 25%, which is 50,000. It's a quarter of 200. But what happened is, obviously, uh, I would say the minority spoils it for the majority, but I think it was the majority spoiled it for the minority. People were over lending and that borrowing money they couldn't pay back. Ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, uh, I don't really need that extra 25 grand and um, 25%. So I'm still going to take it, but then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Benny Dorm needs to see me in it. I, I, I need to sit in the sun and have uh, chips and beans and English full breath. Full, full, full English breakfast and read the Sun newspaper when I'm in another fucking country. So the Brits fucked it up. Them old school people from the 70s or 80s, whenever it was happening or whatever, they fucked it up for us. Oh, really? I thought, I thought it was the old school people that fucked it up. All right, so it's some new school dickheads as well then. Yeah. Me, if I, had, if I got hold of 125% mortgage and that, I would not abuse it, man. I would not abuse it. 